Hello friends, in the following program of JavaScript, I am going to show you how can you perform sum of two numbers taking input from the user. If you see the code, you will notice that I have made use of a form tag which is basically going to work as a container that will be holding these two GUI components where I have declared one text box and given a name to the text box as well as an ID. Another text box I have declared which also has a particular name and ID. And then I have declared a button which will give a call to a JavaScript event called on click and eventually it will give a call to a sum function. The control will come over here. Whatever input I have given in this particular text box that will be uh, that will be retrieved with the help of the value attribute uh, as I have written in the document get element by ID the respective ID of the text box has been mentioned over here. So it will retrieve the value from the text box and then I have to convert it into an integer and then I have to store it in the variable called x. Why do I need to convert it because the data type of this particular input type text box is a text type. So we have to convert it to integer before we go for any kind of computation and that conversion from text to integer will be done by the help of parse int function. So parse will convert the output and then will store the value in the y and then we can go for a calculation. So let's do one thing. Let me save the program and let me execute the program in PHP I have written. So the, so the program is in HDDocs. Now I insert a value over here and I provide another value over here and then I go for summation. You can see the value 33 is shown over here. That means these two variables have been converted into integer type and then the calculation has been done because of which you can see the value 33. So let me press the OK button over here. By the way, as I have pressed the OK button, we see something over here. What is this particular statement that is showing? So let me show you in the notepad so that you can see it much clearly that what you can figure out. This is what you can see. You now what is what is this all about? This is something very important which you need to take care about. This is the file name of the program uh, b.php. What but, but what there is a question mark over here. We generally call it as a URL. And in the URL, there is a delimiter, there is a separator, and then this part is called query string. This particular query string consists of the name of the text box. This is the first text box where the user has provided value 11. And then we have performed a concatenation, and then we have got second text box, and where the value is 22. The input, that means the container and the content, both is been shown in the URL. Why this is happening? This is happening because by default the form tag has a method type called let me write the method type it's called get so even if you are not writing the method type but still the method type will be of type get let me save the program and let me rerun the program once again to see is there any changes taking place or not so let me give some other value over here and now let me run the program and the value is calculated that is fine but again the url has been shown so this is all because we have made use of the method type get which is the default method option. So let's change the method type from get to post. So what will happen if I go for post? You see by your own eyes what is happening. So let me remove the program URL and let me type the value once again. And this time when I will do it, as I click the OK button, you don't see anything in the URL. This is what the important part of the post. The post method type will be providing encryption. Hence in the URL, you will not be able to see the container, the container and the content that won't come over over here. So the query string will not be getting framed if your method type is post. So do remember by default method type is get even if you are not mentioning it will be of type get. But if you want to change it then we will be going for the post. This is the most important part of the video and the second thing is that whenever you take input from the user through the text box by default it will be of string type. You have to go for type casting then only you can go for any kind of computation. I hope this particular video help you out. Do keep watching my other video.